So in my opinion, this is the best Android emulator for Windows. But not everyone can use it unless you know the Chinese language. This is an emulator called Tencent App Store. This thing actually runs really well compared to any other Android emulators out there. This thing is actually really good. So before we do some testing and run some games and apps, first we need to know more about this. Okay, let me give you guys a little info about this. This thing is actually the official Android emulator for Windows. I actually already did one video on this topic before, almost like three months ago when this thing came out. Windows 11 is getting a new Android app support feature. So basically what is happening right now is, as you guys know, I think most people already know this, the WSA is no longer the Windows subsystem for Android is dead. Microsoft is removing that feature from Windows 11. WSA was actually one of the you know, most hyped feature in Windows 11. With this, you could run Android apps, games on Windows 11 almost natively. It was good, but Microsoft is removing that feature now. So recently, Microsoft and Tencent shook hand together. Basically, uh, they are cooperating <laughs> together now to bring Tencent App Store to Windows. It is actually downloadable from Microsoft Store, but only if you live in China. Okay, if you go and search for Tencent App Store right now, if you don't live in China, you won't find this, but uh, there is a website you can download it anyone can download it from the website but it is available in the microsoft store so basically microsoft and tencent are working together so in another word this is the new android emulator or new android support feature for windows yeah but it's only available in china and only available in Chinese language. So now let's test some games and apps, okay? In my last video, I didn't do much testing because it was still new and I can't really read Chinese or understand Chinese, but I'll give you guys a tip to how to read, at least translate Chinese from this app, okay? There is one really cool feature in Windows that you can use if you want to try this app, okay? But first, uh, let's go and open this app called device info don't ask me how i know this okay you can see the specs of this android emulator okay it's android 13 which is actually really good it is like recent version of android cool uh, these are the specs ram cpu we can increase it by going into the settings actually don't ask me how i know this but just you know <laughs> I'll give you guys a tip, okay? So you can see we can set the custom RAM right now. RAM is set to 4 gigabyte. We can increase it to 6, 8, 12. And core, CPU core, we can also increase it to maybe 6, 8, something. Uh, and there are some presets actually. Wow, that gives me 6 core CPU. Maybe we go with the 6 core. Why not? Okay, then we have to click on save, right? Yeah. <laughs> now it needs to restart. I don't know, for some reason, this thing actually runs really well. And did you notice something else? Something different about this Android emulator? Yes, you can't get access to the Android system, which you really don't need in PC. Yeah, when you run the Android app, it's gonna open something like this. You can go full screen, there are, uh, you know, key mapping and all that, you can do that. If you know the Chinese language, it will be really easy. <laughs> if there is someone watching from China or who understands China, please, can you confirm that whether we can change the language in this Android emulator or not? Please help us in the comments. I did almost everything, but I couldn't find a language settings here. So let's close this. Let's actually run one of the biggest mobile game here, PUBG. Okay, we don't have to read it. We can actually see the logo. Yeah, we know it's PUBG. <laughs> so let's run that. Okay, it's Android 13 and uh, it opens the app instances instead of full Android system, which is really good. Okay, so here is our game. Yeah, this time I made it work. Uh, last time when I was testing this, I couldn't figure out how to log in into the system and all that. So I'm actually using a WeChat thingy. Now I have to sign in again. Wow, how many times? 
I created a WeChat account. So let me actually scan this. I just want to show you guys this thing actually runs really well. You'll see the game performance. Okay. Okay. I should be able to sign in. Okay. Cool. Cool. Now. Wow. You're going to be impressed. Really. I haven't seen any other Android emulator running like this game as good as this. Look at the graphics quality. It's a mobile game. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Okay. I'm just going to jump into the battle this feels almost as good as the chrome os okay stop talking please don't understand okay it actually feels as good as the chrome os android system i mean uh, i'm shocked okay again i have used many android emulators but this thing wait where do i want to jump oh yeah here I want to follow them actually. Wow, this thing, man. Wow. <laughs> I bought this Android emulator in like English language. Come on. Uh, where are they going? M. Okay, I think I can follow them. I want to feel this, okay? I, I know I'm just doing a test, but yeah, this thing feels smooth no stutters no nothing like that wow it's it's like pc game <laughs> horses there are horses no uh, wait <laughs> no way i didn't knew there were horses z what are you gonna do with the z i think i need to remap the controls some of the controls uh yeah, you can also uh, customize the keyboard layout, key mapping. So by default, you know, mouse and WASD work. But if there are some uh, key mapping misaligned, like you can see Z and uh, C are misaligned, I can fix that by changing or editing the key mapping. Okay, let me go inside. Wow, I cannot believe this thing is so good. I'm not even kidding, man. I heard someone. Oh, that's my footsteps, I think. Horsey, let's go. Wow, <laughs> this thing is smooth as butter. <laughs> How to find people. Oh, I should do the key mapping, re-key mapping. Let me let me figure that out, actually. Uh, full screen. How do I exit the full screen? Well, I can't figure out how to exit the full screen. F11 is not working for some reason. Okay, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but you can remap the uh, key mappings, okay? Key Keyboard shortcuts or whatever you call it. Man, I'm not even kidding. I'm really impressed. Okay, this thing is running like a butter. This is a mobile game. It's emulated. Uh, I saw someone over there. Maybe I can kill that guy. Oh yeah, I see someone. I have Sheriff. Can you jump? Thank you. And a shotgun, I think. I can't read anything. I think I can, I can kill him. No, it's a bike. It's a bike, it's not a person. Can he run? Oh, he can, he can. Shift, okay. I'm gonna go fast. <laughs> so far, zero stutters. Zero legs, basically. Wow. No, this isn't the way to go. I wanna fight someone. Oh, I found someone. <laughs> they better... No, I jumped from the house. I guess I'm gonna have to go. Two person, he's coming, he's coming for me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> They're so good. Uh... 
Okay, never mind. We'll be playing this game. Okay, I don't even know how to close this, so I'm gonna do this to close. Okay, it's it's closed. So yeah, that's the first game that <laughs> we just tested. I have other some simple games like what is this called? Subway Surfer or something? Let's launch that. Uh, I'm kind of lost in here. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Now let's go full screen. So this is how you go to full screen. Okay. Ooh. So this is the Subway Surfer. This thing also runs really well. 60 FPS. Mobile game. Easy. All right. You got it. Okay. <laughs> we ran better game than this, the PUBG. So it, no problem there. There is a Minecraft too, which is like different type of Minecraft. The Chinese Minecraft. It feels different, completely different. I don't know if I should run this or not, but I'm going to run it anyway. I'm going to show you guys that this thing also runs really well. By now, you already know this Android emulator is actually good. Okay. This is, again, kind of a official, official Android emulator for Windows from Tencent. Yeah, because Microsoft's WSA didn't work out. Oh, I have this world. So let's play this, I guess. Can I go full screen just like that? F11. This is the Bedrock Edition Minecraft. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. And look at this. The thing is running at 50, 60 FPS. Really good. Okay. <laughs> Sheep, come here. Look at this. This thing is running well. Yeah. F11 to exit. And you can also install APK file here. Any APK file. So. You can go there if there is any apk file that you downloaded you can install it pretty amazing there is the tiktok you can open multiple apps at the same time okay i'm gonna open uh, these two apps so here we go oh i didn't mean to you know watch that <laughs> so there is that so yeah multitasking is also good I mean, this thing is better than WSA plus better than other Android emulators. I'm actually truly impressed. But again, this is only available in Chinese language. So that kind of sucks for non-Chinese language users. Yeah. So you can download games, apps and all that from here. Or you can also install APK files. This thing is actually well made it runs really well and we need this okay <laughs> tencent come on we need this okay so this is the official website okay and from here you can download this app store so you have to go in here app store pc version download this if you want to again this is only available in chinese language so yeah if you want to test this try this yeah you can go and try this out but Using it going to be kind of difficult if you don't know the Chinese language. Yeah, I've been playing around with this for a while now. And this thing is actually good. Okay, I hope that this will become available in English sometime in future. Okay, let me let me show you guys a tip to use this Android emulator. So let's say I'm in settings. I don't know what they are saying here in the Chinese language, all the options. So what I do is open snipping tool and take a screenshot of this like that and now i go to this option text actions i click on that okay when i click on that you can actually extract text from the screenshot okay now let's say i don't know what this is okay i'm gonna copy that i'm gonna go and search for translate in google and i'm gonna paste that here and basically by translating so it says processor six core so yeah i know this much <laughs> so you can do the same thing with almost everything in here if you want to use this or want to test this so yeah 
that's it for this one. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.